and Shannon Sky. Welcome to everything. Uh, please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading. Hypnosis, I still have to choose them. It's mid-April. I'm doing this, taping this in May. I have to choose my two free people I have not done yet. So I have to do that yet. I don't tell people on here on, uh, who I'm choosing. It's private. But um, if you want me to tell you, I can. Um, I'm going to start with, we're going to start expanding. I had to hire a a personal assistant. I'm so busy. So she's going to maybe be hitting, um, putting, compiling emails. Um, I'm also opening up an online store for my sweatshirts, my tie-dye sweatshirts with my logo. So um, remember all of that. And uh, joke of the day. Oh, by the way, please visit Metaphysical Meanderings, 9.30 a.m. Central. It's live, um, up to 2.1 million followers. Thank you very much. That was really awesome. Um, and visit enchantedsky.com. You can book a reading. Um, and I'm on TikTok now, too. I think I've told you that. So, joke of the day. Why can't you explain a pun to a to kleptomaniac? Because they always take things literally. <laughs> I mean, now, that, see, that makes me laugh because it's intelligent. Let's get on with the reading. So, hey, Leo, this is your finance for May. I think I'm going to do a little bit different angle and make it a little bit nicer real soon here. Um, Got to play around with it just a little bit. Now, I've been sitting here, and I, you're owning your own power this month, and it's very, very distinctive. Um you know, the card's upside down, the card's upside down. It's kind of like, you can be boisterous and you can be bragful, but that's not what this is about. This is more like a person who's owning their quiet power and they're coming into their own. And if I, if this were upright, I would say there's another person, but when it's upside down, it's you. And you're looking at a way of creating money for yourself and, 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 and a, Creating a job where you don't have to work as hard also. Because that way, because you're enjoying yourself. You're enjoying a little bit of downtime. So it's a job where, or a career, or a business where you are going to be making enough money that you can finally breathe. And there's a lot of choice. You have to make a choice on this. And look at, this is a, this is a, this is a tower card. This is a life-changing moment. I have been saying in May that we're going through a huge change, all of us. Now, there's a, like five planets are in conjunction in May this year. The, the new moon, which is where, about the time I'm reading this, is huge for us. I, you know, I, to be honest, never used to be into astrology. I was, you know, I've been a medium for years. And I've really looked at this and it's so true. It's not, it's unbelievable how true this is. But there's conjunctions going on and people are moving, people are doing, people are meeting. Now you're scared to death to leave. You're scared to death like if you're gonna get a new job or something and the choice you're making is a wrong one, you're scared. Because you're gonna feel like you're afraid of feeling left out and down and out. But it's not gonna happen. Because look at, look at that. You got the best card in the deck. That card means yes, yes, yes. So if you are going for an interview, you are trying something like that, you are going to get it. And there is a message coming, and it's an emotional message. Now, that can represent a, a mature person, too. But, you know, you're discontent the way things are, and you want that change. You're hoping to cut yourself loose. Now, look at This is the around you. That's a job, a career. You're picking up the pieces. You're going to be sad about where you're going to be going forward. And you're going to be sad. And it's going to go quickly. You're going to be sad about what you're leaving behind but you don't realize that, you've, that you're crying over spilt milk. That in, in the long run, this is going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. Okay? Now, don't think it's not hard work. There's a lot of hard work involved because you've got to learn, learn new stuff, new skills, new whatever. It has to do with the, with the career, the job, the business. And it is a very traditional one. So it's the nine to five. Um, if you're starting a business, it's a very traditional business. A restaurant, it's it's traditional. And and it's also spiritual. This is a spiritual growth lesson for you also. To trust your inner reserves, your inner strength. Now, that card 
is the card of working hard and learning your craft. You probably got quite a bit of the skills that you're needing already, but you've still got more to learn. So just take, take that with a grain of salt and just go forward with it. You're scared to make that decision and you need to make that decision. Do not be afraid. Okay? It's interesting because I know what's going on for people in Leo and I know a couple of Leos. They're in huge... Huge fluxes. There we go. Um, bear your burdens with love. That means, you know, this is going to be a, not an easy thing to transfer and to, to make, but, but do it with some love. You know, you got other people depending on you. You got to depend on yourself also. As above, so below. So as you create, it reverberates throughout your life. That's basically what that means. You start creating a new life, you, create, you will benefit from it down the road. Nurture the magical child. I haven't seen this card in a long time. This is magical for you. This You just don't even realize how good this is going to be. Because you're going to be exploring new territory. And that's what you're supposed to be doing. This is the year of change. You are drawing your own story. You are making, you are creating, you are changing your story. Remember, we manifest, I am. Intent, they align, manifest. Your intent is to do something different, to make yourself happy, maybe not to work so much, maybe make better money. Your alignment becomes the job that you get and you, you know, or the mindset is your intent. And then you're aligned by getting the job and then you manifest it and it happens and it all works out really well. Create a powerful network. You never go wrong with that. That's something that I do, is I create a powerful network. The I am. I am joyful. I, am, I find joy in the little things and appreciate every little precious moment. There is an infinite amount of happiness in my life. Sharing my joy with others makes me happy. Well, you're trying to find that balance because you're working too much. Or you're not working for enough. And that is the balance that you are trying to find this month. Blessings. 